Hey everyone, how are you? It's Mikaida Valletta again. I'm going to wait for some of you to come on. Um, again, I'm posting this, recording this video on IG Live first at the underscore renaissance underscore Amazon underscore 81 and then going to repost this to my um, YouTube page hopefully. So um, I'm recording this video. I hope you guys are all doing well. I just want to talk about a few things that's on my mind. Um, so a lot of you may be familiar with who I am and what I do. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, I am a trainer, um, exercise scientist, sports scientist, nutritionist, strength conditioning specialist, um, and I've been working in the fitness industry since I was in college. I graduated college 2003, but started working in it before I graduated. Um, since 2006, I have been working for myself. And I chose to work for myself because I felt like every time I worked for a gym, I had to dumb myself down. Um, I have videos about that on my Facebook page, I mean, sorry, my YouTube page, The Body Scientist 81, where um, I speak about the different issues with the fitness industry, the scams, and the unqualified people. And so I always felt like I had to dumb myself down. And because I wanted to tell people the truth and I really wanted to help people, I chose um, to work for myself. But sometimes I really regret it um, because people really don't appreciate it, you know? People can write me all day and tell me, oh, Makeda, keep doing what you're doing. You know, you inspire so many people. But honestly, after all these years and all this time, I can't say that that keeps me motivated anymore. Um, and I wish I had put myself first because I feel like I was so focused on wanting to help people. And I wanted to tell people the truth that I just wanted to do my own thing. But you get punished when you do that. Um, because, you know, I'm so much into educating people and telling the truth, I'm not going to take endorsements from bullshit nutrition companies um, and sell them to you, even though I can make money off of it because I know it's garbage. It's against who I am. There's so many fitness people on Instagram um, who really don't know what they're doing, who have plastic surgery and butt shots and doing all kinds of things and then advertising like, you know, they're a fitness guru. Um, I've seen tons of people with a huge following on social media who actually have bad lifting technique and really don't know what they're doing. Um, but in this industry, look, sell. Um, and people that just understand how to sell have a background in sales. Um, but the issue with working for yourself is like, I am my business. For those of you who follow my work and you see me, you know that. It's like, um, not only do I have to spend, like every certification I get, or every time I want to study something, um, like for the past four or five years I've been studying, um, for the past five years I've been studying with this amazing woman in um, LA named Pankazani, uh, also in Digimama. She's a womb chiropractor. <clears throat> she can palpate a woman, feel where her organs are, move the organs into the right place if they're not. And there's so many things um, that I've learned from studying with her. And I took trips to California to study with her and to be where she was at. Um, so for me, I will travel to study with the greatest teachers. I'm also a dancer. Um, I'm going to Cuba at the end of this month to study with a dance company in Santiago de Cuba. And um, I may be going back to Cali next month. Um, to, actually, no, this month, before I go to Cuba, to, to a Haitian um, dance thing in Oakland because of the teachers that will be there. So I'm always seeking knowledge and studying with the best people. And I spend money investing in myself, in my education. I'm constantly learning. I've never felt like, oh, I know everything, I don't have anything, any other work to do, which a lot of people do in this, this industry. A lot of people get into fitness, and they, they know very little, and they think they know enough, and they don't, they don't want to keep learning. Um, and that's why I don't associate with a lot of people in this industry. I'm very picky with who I align myself with and who I promote. But the thing is, is that if I have any problems, right, like if I'm having an issue with PayPal, or if I'm having... Um, an issue with my laptop, with my, with my phone, any of those things, I am the one that has to fix it. You know, I'm the one that has to spend two hours on the phone um, talking to these people, trying to clear things up. And so in my day, I might have had it where um, I had these 10 things I was going to do. Maybe I had stuff to do for clients. I had evaluations that I had to, to complete, right? But then I can't get it done because I'm on the phone dealing with other stuff. And 
I have to answer all my emails. I have to advertise everything that I'm doing. So I constantly have to be making video content. Um, if I want to have a class, I have to make a flyer. And I'm not a technological person, so I don't know how to make flyers and shit like that. So my stuff looks bootleg. Um, my online classes, it's like I have to do all of it all the time. So there's never a time where I don't have tons of work to do. Never. And there's no vacation days and no sick days. If I get sick or I don't feel good, then I don't make money. That's just how it is. And it's tough. And people are not very compassionate towards that. Everybody, you know, um, everybody has an attitude because I'm not getting back to them fast enough. A lot of people, they think that um, they're, like, they're the only important person or something. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have to also take care of myself and I have to speak to my family and, and, and do those things and so I'm only one person. And a lot of people are super impatient and they want things now, 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 now. And if you don't respond to them now, 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 then um, they take it personal and get irritated. And this is the reason why there are people who hit me up in my inbox and especially dudes. And I keep saying this because I'm always saying men are such bad liars and I don't know why men keep trying. But no matter how much a woman can say this to men, men still try to be slick because men still think they might have some skills with, with lying, but you don't, okay? Women see through your lies, all right? Um, and so there'll be dudes who hit me up who act like they want to work with me, and I know from jump they don't want to work with me. I can tell from jump when someone's serious and when they're not. And there are times when I call men out, and I'm like, dude, you're not serious. You know, stop wasting my time with that, you know? Like, you really just want to talk to me. You should have just said that from the beginning. You might have gotten further than trying to lie, waste my time, telling me you want to work with me, and you have me going back and forth, explain things to you and answering questions about shit that you know you're not interested in. And if somebody does that, that pisses me off to no end because I'm busy. I always have shit to do. So me wasting time answering questions from someone who knows that they're not serious, nothing irritates me more than that. And then people who don't communicate clearly, like, you know, these days, so many people communicate so half fast. Like, I don't understand, like, if you graduate high school, you should know how to form clear, concise sentences. I haven't spent half my day trying to decode what the fuck people are talking about. And it's like, if English is your first language, then I should understand you. I shouldn't have to, don't speak in the past tense if you mean the present. You know, finish your sentence, like, be clear. That irritates me too, and it's like, because it's, it wastes my time, like, I am my business, I am my secretary, you know what I'm saying? I am the one, I am my marketing person, I am all of those things, and I have to keep up with research and all these different health issues that is happening, because I have clients that I deal with, they have all kinds of things going on with their body, and because I take what I do seriously, I'm always researching, um, so I can help people. And so there's a lot of money and time that I invest in who I am so I can help people and be a better practitioner. Um, and there are times that I just don't want to do it anymore because I just feel like people, the amount of money, you know, um, that when you do things your own, the amount, of, the amount of money you charge compared to the amount of time that you've spent and the amount of money you've spent. Like if I want to go to a conference, I have to pay for the conference for a place to stay for my flight to that place. It's not like, some people work for a company and they go to a conference and the company is paying for them to go somewhere. And the company is shipping them out there, paying for their food. That's not how shit works for me. Everything is an investment in myself. Every trip I take is an investment in myself and has something behind it. So one of the worst things that somebody can do is waste my time, you know? And because I, I want to tell the truth, I'm not gonna take money from companies. I mean, you have every celebrity with this flat tummy tea and this flat tummy tea lollipop bullshit that they know they don't even consume and they don't even know if the stuff in it is even good for you but they're going to tell you about it because they're getting a check that's not me sometimes I wish I could be that way but I'm not I wasn't raised like that it's just not in me to a lot of people for a dollar um, but at the same time I don't know if it's worth it for me to keep trying to help people and uh, surviving off of that without running myself into the ground because it's stressful dealing with people and it's stressful dealing with people who are unappreciative um, and impatient and everybody thinks it's about them like even the woman who does my hair I love her to death any black woman black women are the women who do our hair the people who do our hair are serious when we find somebody who does our hair that we love it's a big deal and all the natural hair people I'm gonna say natural hair people probably the regular hairdressers too but I've been having my hair locked since two for 18 years now so 
all the natural hair people I know, they stay booked up. And they never go anywhere. They never go anywhere. Uh, if they go away for a week, everybody's like, oh my God, they don't do it themselves. They work long hours. And when hair people are working, they can't text on the phone and bullshit because they need both of their hands to do your hair and concentrate and make people happy. And, um, you know, sometimes they don't have a break to go to the bathroom or to eat. And it could be like that in the fitness industry too, when, when, when you're teaching class to class to class or you're working with clients back to back to back. Any good trainer, any trainer who's professional is not going to be on their phone texting people when they're training you, and they should not be. And um, so they're concentrating on you the whole time, and that can be draining, and it just, so we're not bullshitting. There's other people who are at work, and they could be doing other stuff. You know, some jobs, no. It's like, it's very time consuming. And the woman who does, you know, hair people, that's my hair. Somebody didn't show up for the appointment, that's money they lose. You know what I'm saying? So you have to have deposits, and then people want to bitch and complain about deposits. Like, I won't work with anybody without a deposit. I'm not setting up shit without a deposit, because that's my time. If you don't show up, that's money that I've lost. But a lot of people are too selfish to think about that. And then you have people pulling at you, pulling at you, pulling at you, and feeling like you can never make everybody happy. And um, the more years that go by with me doing that, it makes me just not always feel as rewarded because I'm helping people. It makes me feel like I wish I was doing something else. But I kind of sometimes feel stuck because I've been doing this all my adult life. Um, and it's, it's my calling, but sometimes I don't feel like it pays off. And sometimes I don't know if it's worth it. And it can be extremely frustrating. And a lot of people say that they want to be a boss, right? People say that. So many people say that they want to work for themselves. Um, that you know they don't want to work for anybody but most people who say that they're not cut out for that shit they're not cut out for the hard work that it takes they don't understand that when you work for yourself you always have work to do 24 7 there's no vacation there's no even when you're on vacation you're working um for me if i lose my phone or i go someplace and i have no internet that shit costs me money it causes me to lose money um and so a lot of people aren't about that life people can say that but a lot of people are not willing to work that hard and do what it's, it takes to have your own business and to be your own business. And sometimes I don't know that I have it either anymore because the shit is frustrating. So I'm just um, giving you some things to think about and I'm also explaining to you why you may get the attitude you get from me if you email me wasting my time of bullshit. And why, like when people be in my inbox, you know, complimenting me, I try to say thank you to everybody. But that doesn't mean I have a com uh, doesn't mean I have time for small talk. So if someone's in my inbox and they give me a compliment and I say thank you, and then you want to ask me, oh, how was your day and what were you doing today and what, what, what? I don't have time for to answer all that shit because that's just not making me money right now. And you know what? Time is money. Time is money. So why would I want to spend time just talking to people about nothing? So there's times that I've asked people, do you want something? You know, and they get an attitude because I asked that. But I just want to know because if you don't want anything. <laughs> then my priority, my, my prioritizing answering your questions falls down the list. But the person might want something. I could ask you, do you want something? And you could say, yeah, I'm interested in working with you, blah, 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 even though you should have said that from the beginning. But you say that, okay, then that's the priority for me to pay attention to this conversation. But I just don't have time to talk to everybody that wants to talk to me. And people take that personal and everybody acts so entitled um, or they, they get offended. And I wouldn't get offended by that. You know what I'm saying? If you freaking send Russell Simmons a message, you think he'll respond at all? Um, so anyhow, I don't know. I'm just deciding, you know, uh, what my next steps will be. People can tell me to fight the fight, but it's like, none of that matters, you know, like, to me. It's just about what's going to keep me sane, because being in business for yourself and having no investors, you know what I'm saying, like, there's no, I have no investors or no backers. Everything that I do comes out of my pocket and what I do. And I find that most people, most people just want um, to be lied to. Most people don't want um, the truth when it comes, and most people aren't willing to do the work. There's so much more in life. Okay, these people are loud, buddy. Um, there, um, there's so much work to do if you want to build a strong, healthy body that looks good and lasts over the years. But people are lazy. People want to get surgery, people want to just take this pill, people want a quick fix. I don't sell that, you know. I sell how to build a strong base. And I educate people on how to build a strong base. But a lot of people are too lazy for that, and that's not what sells. You know what I'm saying? 
maybe I should have became a plastic surgeon and then I'd be rich and that's what the people want they just want surgery like quick fixes so I know what I know for myself and my family and I know that I will always be good I know that as I age I will always be healthy and strong and looking good because I know what to do and I'm willing to share it with anybody else who wants that information but I find that um, most people don't want it so is it a lucrative thing for me to continue to do I don't know um, but yeah just some just some thoughts that I wanted to share so um, I gotta go back and do more work just taking a break so I hope you all have a good day and um, I'm probably gonna do a video later about some other stuff actually on my other page the body scientist the underscore body underscore scientist I will be doing um, a video later today on glute science and maybe some other topics okay so um, have a good day people mm, if it's sunny wherever you are try to enjoy it Bye.